Hello everyone. Today we'll see how lens surface temperature can be extracted using Landsat 8 dataset. So we'll be going through a number of uh, steps that is involved in calculating or estimating the lens surface temperature. Before we do that, we will also see how the data set look like and uh, what are the precautions that we need to take before we proceed further. So. Um, once you have downloaded the Landsat uh, 8 data uh, from Earth Explorer, uh, this is one of the data sets that I have downloaded for February 2020. And you can see once you unzip it, a number of layers, a number of files that you can see from the data set, which includes band information from red, blue, green, and uh, uh, including thermal bands, which is 10 and 11. Also, you can see there's one um, text file uh, the, which speaks about uh, all the secondary information about the data set that we have downloaded, um, which is also very essential uh, because we'll be taking a number of uh, information about the data set from this text file. For example, um, in order to proceed with land surface uh, temperature calculation we need to have certain information from the secondary data set that we will take for example the reflectance multiple band value for band 4 and 5 reflectance additive value for band 4 and 5 radiance multiple value for band 10 and 11 radiance additive value for uh, band 10 and 11 we also need sign elevation uh, data um, about the data set and also K1 and K2 information for band 10 and 11. All this information can be found in these the uh, metadata uh, text file that uh, that can, comes along with other files once you unzip it. For example, let us say <coughs> the reflectance multiple band value for band 4 and 5 you can see here Reflectance additive value for band 4 and 5, you can see here. And uh, reflect uh, radiance multiple band value for 10 and 11. Uh, radiance additive value for band 10 and 11 can be seen here. And also K1, K2 for band 10 and 11 can also be seen here. In addition, the sun elevation data that I spoke about, that is also available in the same data set that you can find here um, sun elevation data this is also taken up so i have all i have uh, copied all this information in a uh, word file so that we can use it uh, uh, in the upcoming uh, steps so now i'll open the js platform i have linked the folder, I have connected the folder uh, where the Landsat 8 data set is there. Uh, for, this, for, for this exercise, we'll be using band 4 and 5 information. So I'll bring four band 4 raw data into the screen. You can see that this is band 4 information, uh, raw data as such. Uh, if you can notice, there are, there is a black band around this uh, data set, which actually is of no use. We don't need this, and sometimes because of this, we get some uh, error as well. So first, we'll what we'll do is we'll try to remove this black band from this data set, and we we'll clear all this black band and make the data set ready for further process. So how do we remove this black band from this data set? So I'll go. Uh, and search for uh, raster calculator tool. Go to raster calculator and I'll use a uh, simple tool, conditional tool. I'll use condition here and then I'll bring the uh, raw band information as such and one comma zero where one is where all the information is there in that band and zero is where the there is no information uh, which is of no use for us so we'll classify this uh, data set like this i'll save this we classify one <coughs> you
you can see here now now the entire data set is classified into two one is where the information is there zero is where there's no information so we'll again we'll use one more tool called reclassify now the output that we have got will we'll bring it here and in place of uh, zero where old value there is uh, that is where is no, no information i will put no data i'll copy here and paste it in and then i'll save it here reclassified data save it Yeah, now you can see now we have only one information where um, it is overlaying with the actual data. So again, I'll go to a raster calculator. I'll use raw data multiplied by the reclassified data. And then I'll save it as band 4. Yeah, now you can see this. Um, I'll remove this raw data and also the other files that has come along. You can see the black band is removed. Similarly, I'll do this for uh, band phi as well. I'll bring band phi raw data. I'll use raster calculator. Use conditional command one comma zero reclassify two let's write two save it use reclassify tool again bring this output here copy this no data and paste it again zero value save it reclassified to okay now again i'll use raster calculator i'll bring the raw Band phi information, multiply that with the output that we have just received. Save it as band phi. Yeah, I'll remove this or other unnecessary files. Yeah, now we have band four and band phi where we have removed all the uh, unwanted uh, no data value fields from the data set and uh, uh, this output will be used in further uh, estimation uh, further process where we'll try to estimate how lst can be quantified which includes um, atmospheric correction of the layer and then we'll try to uh, quantify uh, normalized difference in vegetation index in DVI, radiance to satellite brightness temperature is BT, and land surface emissivity uh, index for the data set. All these three index will help in quantifying the land surface temperature that we will see in the upcoming um, tutorial.